Couldn't be clearer. I'm asking you to rule out having a go at the leadership in February. This is a constitutional conference, not a leadership conference. Aye. Just rule it out. Show your, show your loyalty to your I leader. I have repeatedly rule said I am always loyal to the leader of the Labour yeah, well, Party. Rule out a this is a constitutional conference, not a leadership If you're loyal, rule out a that challenge. That is not a matter at hand in this meeting. How are you going to look at it in February? Uh, that is not a matter for this conference. Yes or, yes or no? Will you this have is not a, a matter for this conference. Will you have a go at the it's leadership not a for this conference. It, it's all about the leadership. It's not about there. this conference. Now, until David Cunliffe actually comes out and rules out some kind of February challenge, it is effectively all on to my mind. This is effectively a leadership challenge. The war for the internet has begun. Hollywood is in control of... would like to see what's uh, going on in Parliament today and just, uh, you know, check it out. Don't let them get away with that. They concluded no charges, we've moved on. John Banks just wants to move on from those so-called anonymous donations. Don't let them get away with that. I have a dream, like Dr. King, this is the time to stand up and fight. I would worry what else is lingering in the dark that I don't know about. And as a voter, I would certainly consider who to give my vote at the next election. Keep this movement moving, the pursuit of happiness. With the Sky City donation, which I did the story on last Thanks week, time. with the Sky City donation, Mr Banks, did you know that Sky City was... This is where the Government Communications Security Bureau is based in Wellington. I have absolutely no memory of that. According to Labour's GCSB sources, captured on an internal GCSB camera. <laughs> no, spy free day today. But no, it's not. Just on that um, February 29 meeting, um, did you, after that um, briefing you had with the laptop, go into the staff cafeteria at the GCSB? No idea, can't remember. Yeah, but you'd remember going into the staff cafeteria and addressing Oh yeah, certainly staff. when towards the staff, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. That was the cafeteria, yes, and, the staff. And during that, did you did you raise the Kim.com issue or make reference to the staff about that? I don't think so. No. Yeah. I mean, you, so you could have raised it with them in a congratulatory way, or no? I don't think so. No. Yeah. I mean, do you think that was recorded that staff? Goodness knows. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Any recording by your own staff or? No, because I don't have any staff with me. That's the issue. Yeah. That's what, the problem with GCSB. <laughs> <laughs> what about a video recording made of that? of that meeting in the cafeteria no, there. I don't remember it. Yeah, nothing's been brought up by the GCSB with you about the potential for a recording of that meeting? No. no. Yeah. So you could have made a reference to Kim.com during that? I don't that recall it, no. Yeah. Any kind of quip about Kim.com during that? Ref during that? Look, I don't know. Um, you know, who knows, but I, I don't recall it anyway. Yeah. Because the allegation from the Labour Party is that sources in GCSB say that you did go down to the cafeteria and made some sort of quip or reference about... Well, they need to find some proof of that. I don't recall it. Yeah, and as for that video recording, no mention of that whatsoever to you, because that's the no. other allegation that Labor is making. Lad never raised it with me. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Prime Minister. Okay. Thanks, Lord. See you yeah, later. Cheers. It was Judgment Day for John Judge brought in to shake up ACC, today the Minister showed him the door. You expect the New Zealand public to believe that John Judge has walked out of his own accord? No, Mr Judge's term actually expired. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, Patrick. So you might have had a conversation with him about, you know, you guys should go to the police about this. Um, actually, Patrick, I'm not going to speculate on that. Ralph Stewart has heard the recording. It's a victory for Puller and her support person, Michelle Bogue, who eyeballed Collins as she answered questions in Parliament. She's a little short to eyeball me, actually I didn't notice her for a long time. <laughs> and I've uh, enjoyed the question time in the House. And Patrick Gow's live from Parliament now. Patrick, what about the other man in the room, Ralph Stewart? What's the story with him? Yeah, well ACC, Hillary, is actually a Crown-owned company and therefore Judith Collins doesn't have any direct... Lady.
We are reversing, yes, we are reversing the decision in respect of class ratios. So this is a complete backdown. Um, we are reversing, yes, the decision. We are reversing, yes, reversing the decision. Reversing, reversing the class ratio component of the education plan. Brendan Horan back in Wellington and hell bent on sticking around. Are you, are you coming back to Parliament, Brendan? Um, yes, I am. But Singapore is also the ultimate in gambling prevention measures, and Key really wasn't going to go there. Patrick Gower is at Te Te Marae and joins us with more now. Patrick. Yeah, kia ora, Simon. Good evening. Well, it didn't matter whether it was the perennial protesters or the country's most powerful tribal chiefs. Today, everybody wanted a piece of John Key. Didn't her face just say it all? Reversing straight out again, then slipping in the back door. What will the Māori Party do about it? Will it quit the government? Until we meet, we don't really know where we're going to be going. We would utterly dispute the Māori owned water. I think he should have shut his mouth. I am I should have shut his mouth. John Key's trying to sell a car, but he doesn't have the ownership papers. A battle cry directed at the government and its lawyers. Politics and protest is what Waitangi has become known for now as much as ever. Simon, I can tell you today was anything but elegant. He now faces court action, he faces he faced protest action, and he's got those angry iwi leaders, many of whom just talked over him and flatly said no as he even brought up the issue today. Then looming in the background a much bigger battle possibly over whether Māori may have an unresolved claim to the rights to New Zealand's fresh water and that's another issue that could come to dominate Waitangi in the years to come. The rocker Kid Rock warmed up the crowd here tonight, then came on an all-star cast of Republicans but it was Mitt Romney who really fired them up because Ohio was crucial to his presidential chances. He asked them for all their help in wrestling the keys to the White House off Barack Obama in what he believes would see Republicans and America born free. <laughs> Mitt Romney coming in to born free, but he's out to capture every single vote he can. With the right leadership, America is coming roaring back. I am going to vote for Mitt Romney and get our country back on track. Who's with me? And Romney needs as many with him as he can get. Good evening, Hillary. Well, Barack Obama is back. He's back. He's back big time. And don't the crowd know it? I mean, you should have heard this place. It's going off. I mean, I compared it to an all-black test earlier on. Scrap that, that's completely wrong. This is really an incredible thing. It's like the second coming. Someone described it to me as the second coming down on the floor, and it is the second coming. It's another term. He's got it back. When you heard the chant four more years go up soon after CNN called it, it was like a statement. It sounded different than the chant earlier on, which still had that air of a question mark about it. Just an incredible change when it came over on CNN that he was going... Boo! The Obama faithful told us. Has he got it? Yes, he's got it. We've got this. Significar un buen cambio, no solamente la presidencia. What about in English? What about in English? Oh, I thought you spoke Spanish. Well, Mr. Barack Obama is the man. I'm from Texas. Texas is conservative, but we got it. Yay! Woo! B to the A to the M to the A. Obama! Obama. It's Obama again, a second term, signed, sealed and delivered. Right, let's go back to Patrick at Obama headquarters in Chicago again. And Patrick, any more word on his second coming? No sign yet, Hillary, no sign, no sign yet, although the CNN ticker has changed to awaiting the speech. So I guess any time soon, the big man will be in the house. <laughs> Indeed. Patrick, thank you.